Today, we've got some fresh leaks about the powerhouse that's going to be running the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset. This latest leak gives us a detailed look at the component layout of this beast of a processor, and it's packed with some fascinating upgrades that could take the Galaxy S25 Ultra to the next level. Let's dive into everything we know so far. First off, the leak comes from a reliable source. The event showing the component layout of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 AP application processor was shared by an ex-subscriber named Jukanlos Reef and later posted on Baidu by Salazar. This leak combined with previously leaked information gives us a solid understanding of the chip powering the Galaxy S25 Ultra. According to the leaked info, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will come in two different variants. One variant is called the SM8750, which will support M and Wave 5G and sub 6 GHz bands, making it perfect for those looking to take full advantage of 5G networks. The other variant is the SM8750P, which is designed only for Wi-Fi connectivity. So if you're in the market for a Galaxy S25 Ultra, expect the SM8750 version if you're interested in 5G capabilities. There were some rumors that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 would support LPDDR6 RAM, but the leaked spec sheet shows otherwise. Instead, it will continue to support LPDDR5X RAM, which is still super fast, but not the leap forward some were hoping for. However, the real star here is the storage. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will support UFS 4.0 storage, which promises blazing fast speeds of up to 4,500 megabytes per second for reading and 4,000 megabytes per second for writing. This will make a huge difference in app load times and overall phone performance, especially with more storage heavy tasks like gaming and video editing. Moving on to the display, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4's Adreno 830 GPU will support internal panels with a resolution of up to 3840, 2560 and a refresh rate of 144 Hertz. This is technically 4K, but here's the catch. Not many phone manufacturers, including Samsung, are expected to offer a 4K display on their smartphones. Most likely, we'll see high-end displays on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but maybe not the full 4K resolution since it can be a battery drain and isn't as noticeable on smaller screens. One of the biggest changes to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 compared to its predecessor is its CPU cores. Instead of licensing CPU cores from ARM, Qualcomm has designed its own custom cores known as Oridon cores. This shift could lead to significant performance improvements. In fact, a recent Geekbench test of a OnePlus 13 running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 showed performance and efficiency cores will allow the Galaxy S25 Ultra to run demanding applications smoothly while conserving battery life when handling lighter tasks. Lastly, it's worth noting that Qualcomm will officially unveil the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset at their Snapdragon Summit later this month. This event, which takes place every October, will give us the final details and confirm everything we've been hearing from these leaks. So there you have it. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is shaping up to be a serious upgrade for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. With custom CPU cores, blazing fast storage, high refresh rate display support, and improved battery efficiency, this chipset is likely to deliver top-notch performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never missed out on the latest leaks and updates in the world of mobile tech. See you next time. We've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. 
the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.